ready to become a math 11 wizard. Are you so excited for this? Now, I just want to say before we get started that I have filmed the footage of how to solve it and now I'm doing the voiceover. So if there are times when I'm looking down at the computer, that's why. All right, are you ready? Here we go. So the first number that you see is 11 times one and the answer is one, one or 11. Hmm. Up next, we'll try 11 times two and the answer is gonna be 22. Okay, okay, I'm seeing a pattern here, right? I wonder if that pattern is gonna continue. So up next, I'm gonna try 11 times three. And the answer is 33. So I, I think I see the pattern, I think I understand. So we have 11, 22, and 33. So times one is one, one, times two is two, two, and times three is three, three, or 33. That's really exciting, actually. So. Now, I'm gonna try something, I think a little bit harder, all right? So we're gonna try 11 times 10. And if I use that same pattern, the answer should be 10, 10, or 1,010. But that's not the right answer. Hmm. So the pattern worked, but once I got to 10, it didn't work. Hmm. So let me try something else. Now, if I want to try 11 times 10, so not something else, the answer is actually going to be 110. Now, how could I possibly come up with 110? That's a really interesting thought. How did I come up with 110? Hmm. Okay. Now, I'm gonna try some other numbers and I want you to be thinking of patterns and what you're seeing and making some observations. So what would 11 times 45 be? Well, quite simply, the answer is not hard to come up with. The answer is 495. How did I come up with 495? That's so interesting. Hmm, okay. I'm thinking in my head, now, how am I doing this? It's a very, very simple trick, actually. It's really, take some time. I want you to think about it. Keep thinking. Okay, like looking at those numbers and thinking about it. So we're gonna try 11 times 63. And if you didn't figure out the answer, it's 693. Yes, I can do it without a calculator and you will be able to do it shortly without a calculator too. Right? Like, I'm so excited. So, are you ready? Are you ready to learn the trick? I mean, are you ready? <laughs> I hope so, because I'm about to tell you exactly how I do it. Okay, so 11, times 72 and the answer is 792. I know this is super exciting. Now, how do I figure that out? Very, very simple, my friends, through addition. So this is essentially what you do. So all you have to do on this is whatever your double digit number is, you're going to take it and you're gonna split it. So you're gonna have the seven on the left hand side and the two on the right hand side. And remember the camera flips it, so. All right, so you're gonna separate the seven and the two. So on one side you'll have the seven and on the other side you'll have the two. And then you're just going to take seven and two and you're gonna add them. Whatever they add to becomes the middle number. So in this case, seven plus two is nine. The middle number becomes nine. So your answer is 792. Pretty cool, right? That's like one of my favorite things that I ever figured out. So let's try another one. Now that we know we're gonna add and we're gonna try 11 times 44. 
your answer should be 484. Yes, because we take the fours and we split them. Four plus four is eight. Eight becomes the middle number. So your answer is going to be 484. So simple, I know, right? Okay, we're starting to get the hang of this. Hmm, well, I want you to take the five and the two and split it. Five plus two is seven. Your middle number is going to be seven. So your final answer is 572. Your final answer is 572. Your final answer is 572. All right, so that's it, you did it. But sometimes there's, sometimes there's a little bit of a <laughs> kink in the road there. So what happens when the middle number is 10 or more? Okay, so that does happen, and it's the same thing when we add, if a number is 10 or higher, we have to carry. So the same thing is gonna happen when we do this. If the middle number is 10 or higher, you're going to have to carry. It's not as scary as you think, but let's try 11 times 39. We're gonna split the three and the nine, just like we did on all the other problems. So what we're going to do is we wanna be careful that we don't leave 12 in the middle. The answer is not gonna be 3129. So what you're gonna to have to do is if the number in the middle is larger than 10, you're gonna to have to carry, same as you would do with addition. So we're gonna carry the one in this case, and we're gonna add it to the three. That's gonna give us a total of four. So now my final answer is actually going to be 429. All right, I know some of you might be like, ah, now I'm so confused. It's okay, you just have to practice. All right, so we're gonna try some more because I don't feel comfortable leaving you after one where there's carry and expect you to have it. So let's continue practicing, shall we? All right. We're gonna now try to multiply 11 times 76. We're going to split the seven and the six. So you've got your seven and your six. Now. The problem is when you add seven and six, you get 13. You cannot have a double digit number in the middle place value. You can only have one number in each place value. So you're actually gonna have to take the one and carry it just like you do in addition. So seven plus one is eight. So now that you've done that, you're gonna write your eight and then you just get to write the remaining numbers, which is the three and the six. You ready to try some more? All right, here we go. 11 times 84, you're gonna split your eight and four. You're gonna add eight and four and you're gonna get 12 in the middle, but you cannot have two numbers in the middle. So you're going to have to carry the one. You're gonna leave the two as is, but you're gonna carry the one over to the eight, just same as you would do with addition. So one plus eight is gonna be nine. So your answer is going to be 924. Got it? All right. <laughs> it's not so hard. You just remember to carry and then you have it. Isn't this exciting? Oh, I'm so glad that we get to work on this. But of course, I wanna practice a few more because whenever something is difficult, we should practice. So we're gonna do 11 times 73. All right, give it a try. I wanna see if you can do it. Pause the video now to see how you did. Okay, you guys, so we're back. All right, so we're taking the seven and three and we're gonna split them. I know you already did that. Your middle answer is 10. You can never have two digits in one place. Carry that one over to the next place value. Seven plus one is eight. And then you just write the remaining numbers you haven't used, zero and three. Your answer is 803. You did it. 
All right, I know, I know that that last little bit can be kind of tricky. You just have to remember that carry. And if you can remember that, you can multiply any double digit number by 11. Good luck. So are you a math 11 wizard yet? Do you feel confident? Do you see how easy it is to multiply by 11s? But you might be thinking, well, Kate, that's great and all, but what happens when we get into triple digit or quadruple digit and so on and so forth? Don't worry, I got you covered. So next week, we're gonna be looking at just that. Now, this video was a little bit tricky to film, so I hope that you could kind of see everything that was going on. And um, I'm really excited for next week. And I hope that you'll come back as always. And I hope that you'll share the video. And if you aren't subscribed to this channel yet, it's just a click away. All right. That is it for Math Monday. From the bottom of my heart to yours. We'll see you soon. Bye. Do you know me? <laughs> I'm Kate, I'm the sleepy teacher, and um, I don't know how you ended up here. Maybe you're lucky. <laughs> Maybe you clicked the wrong video, but here we sit. <laughs>